Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Sogi Kisimov and yes, I'm going back my hair and of course if you're new here to this channel, make sure you subscribe because there's all kinds of cool content on here and I want to talk about importance about if you decide to start your own business. And a lot of people are making a huge mistake when it comes to starting your own business because they're missing out on a few things. And specifically I'm talking about opportunity cost. Yes, you're losing money every single day that you're not starting your own business. In fact, let's say for example you're going to be making 10 bucks a day in a whole year, 10 times 365 days a year, maybe passive income or something other than that, you're losing on all this potential money. Money is opportunity cost. The cost is by not taking action. So when you're not taking action, you lose money. And this is the biggest mistake people actually make when they're starting their own business by not actually starting it. So but we people are probably wondering why do people fail to start a business? They fail to start a business because they are scared. They are scared of trying something new. And above all, they feel that they're going to fail. Yes. It's bad. Yes, people fail. It happens. I failed lots of times. In fact, I probably failed even more than you. But what actually separates the winner from the loser is how you deal with the failure. So, yes, you're going to fail. But the more you fail, the more you will actually get to your goal, which is success, starting the business. Now, if you start one business and it doesn't go well, and then you give up, you failed. Why did you fail? Not because you started and gave up. Because you gave up on actually trying the business. What I mean by that is like you started the business, it didn't work out, you didn't give it enough time to actually work. Now, there is reasons why you should actually go ahead and fail in a business. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes the business is just bad and you keep on trying to add to the bad business. You're investing in something you shouldn't be investing in. That's when you cut all losses and you try a new business. This is what I'm talking about and I teach my students and if you check out right down below there's going to be a link of all the classes that I teach you understand that I like to teach people about multiple ways of making money with passive and different businesses because yes one of them can fail the business model could change and they can, can kick you out they can close your business tomorrow but if you have a multiple of different businesses it's less likely that getting fired from one of them is going to destroy your whole money in fact might be a good thing you got fired from the wrong business because then you can start a new one and make even more money. That's what happened to me actually. But it actually happened in 2014 where I decided to quit my day job and start something new. Sometimes you need this little extra push in order for you to decide what you want to get started and actually do. So when it comes to starting your own business, a lot of people are thinking how do I start it? How do I think about it? There is a class called Beyond Boss and it's going to be a link right down below to this class, Beyond Boss, and it actually shows you multiple ways to start your own business. And I want to talk about what business should you actually start. This is the biggest question people actually ask. There are so many businesses out there. Which one should you actually be doing? And it's confusing. It's so confusing because there's so many different businesses out there. And of course, and I tried many of them myself. And this is why it comes to my classes. I tried those businesses, I gave it a go, and some of them didn't work. And the ones they did, I made even more classes to show you how it's actually done. Because I started where you were. I was like you. And I didn't know what to start when I just started online businesses. And it's the same thing. And a lot of times, it doesn't have to be something complicated. Let's say, for example, you want to open an Etsy shop. Etsy easy three different things you need something creative that you can actually make two 
you can create something digital and for e, you can just sell vintage stuff and you might be asking why Etsy why not eBay what is the difference people on Etsy are just different kind of buyers there is less returns there is more friendly people over there and above all they love creative stuff they like the creativity and this is something you don't get in other locations so this is something for you to understand that making money online all starts with starting your own business take a chance and get started don't wait for the opportunity cost to make you lose money because every single day you're waiting you're losing money by not taking action take action today get started check out the class be your own boss it's gonna show you the direction you should get started in and enroll today of course I'm giving a special pass for people who watch this video well it's gonna be way cheaper than usually I sell it for anyways if you did like this channel make sure you smash the thumbs up button right down below if you have any questions you can actually ask me right down below well there's gonna be a heading subscribe to the channel post a comment and see you in the next video of this show Thank you.